Today we're going to talk about what we're asked all the time when people are moving to our area. What are the best schools? Hi, I'm Lisa Carroll. I'm Tim Carroll. We're with Team TLC. We're realtors here down in the Tampa Bay, Florida area. And today we're going to be talking about something that's changes all the time, so it's not written in stone. But if you have children, <laughs> It's important. <laughs> it's important. What, what are the best schools and what neighborhoods should I live in to get into those schools? Exactly. So we do have school zones and boundaries in our area and they do change all the time because population changes, we're building new schools. So this is relevant right now, but it could change at any moment. It could, so in a year. To make sure that you're in the school district you want, we need to check at the time that you're purchasing to make sure that it's still the appropriate school zone. Um, one of the most important decisions you have when buying a home is the zone schools. Even if you don't have kids, though, school boundaries are important for home resale. Tampa Bay area is comprised of four school districts, each divided by county. Each district offers elementary school, middle, and high school. And Hillsborough County District School District is the largest in the area, and that has more than 200,000 students in 250 schools. Pasco County only has 84 schools, Pinellas County has 140 schools, and Hernando County only has 28. All the Tampa Bay area school districts also have charter schools, which are public schools that operate under a performance contract, which frees them from many regulations created for traditional public schools while holding them accountable for academic and financial results. These charter schools are not included in this information nor are the private schools in Tampa. The state of Florida grades public schools based on how students perform on statewide assessments. There were no school grades given in the year 2020 because of the COVID. A-rated schools can also be distinguished as a school of excellence, which means it's in the 80th percentile for two of the last three years while meeting qualifying criteria. This is the criteria we use to determine some of the top areas to look at schools. The top areas for families with top rated schools is Hillsboro, Southwest Hillsboro, the South Tampa area, and this is a popular area close to Tampa Bay and north of McDill Air Force Base. For the elementary schools, the most highly rated are Mabry, Grady, Mitchell, and Gorey. And for the middle school, it's Coleman. High school, Plant is one of the premier high schools in the state and consistently ranked as the top high school in the Tampa Bay area. Okay, the elementary schools are Hammond, Schwarzkopf, and McKittrick. The middle schools are Martinez and Walker Magnet, and the high school is Steinbrenner, named after George. Then West Chase is a community in West Central Hillsborough County. It's very popular with families and downtown commuters. Um, the elementary schools there that are most highly rated are the West Chase Elementary, Deer Park Elementary, and Bryant. For middle schools, it's Farnell and Davison, which is B-rated. And then the high schools are Sickles and Alonzo High. I know this is a lot of information about schools that we just kind of rattle off, but the typed up format will be down in the description so you can read further into each area as well as see um, A-rated schools, a list of them, and there are also links to some blogs on our website. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed the video. I know it's a lot of information to take in, but really just give us a call. We can walk you through the different Ring schools for depending on where you want to live. There's so many great options. Yeah, there are definitely is. No Thanks problem. for watching this video. Please check out our other videos. We have a lot of them that we've produced about the area, different areas to live in, and different fun things to do in the area. We hope you like and subscribe. We're trying to get our subscriber count up to a thousand. Yay! Let's do it. Let's do it. And if you didn't know now, if you didn't know before, now you know more. Okay.